The Glass Coffin Once upon a time, there was a poor tailor who was very cute and kind. He used to travel to many places to do his job. One day, he went to a vast forest, and because he did not know the way, he was lost. The night fell over the woods. In the cold wilderness, the only thing he had to do was try to find shelter. The night is so dark. If there was a ferocious beast showing up, I would be dead. Maybe I should have some sleep on this lawn. Tomorrow, I will find a way to continue my trip. Please help! Help me! Anyone? Help me! Thank you, dear, for saving my life. Fortunately, if it hadn't been for you, then I would have been crushed by that buffalo by now. <laughs> oh my god, let me go! What are you doing, dear? Why do you lift me up like this? Quickly, drop me down! <laughs> so without saying anything, the deer used its horns to throw him on its back and rushed away. Why did you bring me here? You ran so fast, it scared me to death. Surely the deer wants me here to be safe. But why did he step on that rock? And his eyes look like he wants me to do something for him. Well, it's best to stay out of this. I should just get out of here. But his eyes just now really seem like he had something to say. Why did he kick that rock with his hoof? Is there anything special about it? Or is there some treasure hidden behind the rock? I have heard stories of people who found treasure in the woods. Maybe. There's a button here. Surely this rock is hiding something. It's so strange. Why is there such a big cellar in a desolate place like this? As expected, the cellar definitely contains a secret. If it is a treasure, then it is true that God would have blessed me. But no matter what, we have to be careful. This cellar is too dark. Whose cellar is this? Is this that deer property? But the deer that showed me the entrance to the cellar, where did he go? Why did he not stay? This cellar is so bizarre. Two coffins, two glass coffins to be exact. So, this cellar turns out to be a grave. A miniature castle inside this coffin? It's a masterpiece. It looks just like the real thing. Well, the person who made it must be very skillful. It must be the skill of an artist to be able to make a castle like that. Mister, please turn around. The tailor turned around and found another coffin with a beautiful girl sleeping inside. Oh, who are you? Are you still alive? Don't be afraid. Please help me out of this prison. Just unlatch the coffin to free me. But who are you? Why are you lying in a coffin? Are you not a witch or a devil trying to seduce me? Do I look like a witch or a devil? I often hear stories of demons turning into beautiful girls to seduce humans. So do the witches. You are locked in this coffin must be for a reason. As soon as I let you go, you will harm me. I won't be fooled so easily like that. Please believe me. I'm not that bad as you said, and I need you to help me get out of this place. So who are you? Why does a beautiful girl like you lie in this coffin in a place like this? Please let me out of here. I will tell you everything. Then you will understand. All right, I'll let you go. Hopefully I won't regret my decision this time. Thank you for saving me. Finally, someone saved me from this coffin. Now, you tell me everything. Who are you? Why are you locked in there? I will tell you my story. I am the daughter of a rich earl. When I was a child, my parents passed away. I also have an older brother. There were always guests in our house. Neighbors and friends often came to play with us. 
we are always considerate and hospitable. Then one day a stranger came to the castle. It was he who made my life and my brother's life change forever. What can I do for you? I really want your help. Just say it. If I can help, I will do it with all my heart. I can make it to the East Forest for the night. Can I stay here for a night? Okay, this castle always welcomes guests. Please stay in the castle for one night. Then tomorrow, you can keep on moving. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Please make yourself at home. Your visit makes us feel very happy. This castle often welcomes visitors, so we're all used to the appearance of strangers. So please feel free to stay here. Thank you very much for your precious hearts. Such kindness like yours is rarely seen anywhere. Don't mention it. The guests always make our castle more cheerful and bustling. My brother was very pleased with being acquainted with strangers and invited him to stay for a few more days. The guest refused at first, but then accepted. We finished eating late at night. All the guests were taken to their rooms. At that time, I was tired. I put myself on the bed and slept immediately. When I just fell asleep, the melodious music woke me up. God, how did you get in here? I've locked my room door. How can a door stop me? Did, did you break the lock on my door to get in here? <laughs> a man like me needs to break the lock of your room to get in. <laughs> I can get through the keyhole to get in here. I'm not an ordinary person like you think. I'm a man with magic. You... you have magic? Are you a witch? That does not matter. The only thing that matters is I want to marry you. Will you be my wife? No way! I will never marry a witch like you. You never marry me because I'm a witch. I have a lot of power, a lot of magic. If you marry me for all your life, you will live happily in wealth and luxury. I don't need it. What I need is a husband who loves me sincerely. Even if he is just an ordinary person who is not rich, it is fine. You are too young to say such stupid words. In this world, no one can resist the temptation of wealth, girl. If you had to go through a life of poverty, you wouldn't have said that. Either way, I won't marry someone like you. Get out of here. Why? Am I not good enough? I have magic. If I want something, I will have it. Besides, I really want to marry you. No! Get out of here! You are so rude when entering my room in the middle of the night. I will never, ever marry someone like you. You are so haughty. You embarrass me. Quite well, I will take revenge on you for refusing my love. I'm not afraid of you. Get out of here and leave this castle right away. I will make you regret it. Just you wait and see. Brother, where are you? Where did he go? Is there anything wrong? I woke up in the morning and ran to my brother's room, but I couldn't find him. I felt a bad omen, and I took my horse to run towards the forest. Where is my brother? What did you do to him? Calm down, girl. Don't be so hasty. Let's talk for a while. Where is my brother? Answer me now! I said I would make you regret your words. Your brother will not return. You... you are so cruel! Where did you take him? Agree to marry me, and I'll bring your brother back. No way! I would never agree! If you keep being stubborn, you will never see your brother again. And even you yourself will be punished. No! You mustn't harm him! An evil guy like you will definitely pay the price! <laughs> Who will be powerful enough to make me pay the price? Listen. This deer is your brother. I need to punish both of you for defying me. <laughs> he just waved his hand and I fainted. When I woke up, I found myself lying in this glass coffin. 
My family's castle was also turned small by him and locked in that other coffin. He said if I do what he wants, he'll free me, but I refused, so I've been lying in the coffin until now. Oh my God, that witch is cruel. Turns out that the deer is your brother. Yes. He always wanted to save me from this place, but this glass coffin can only be opened by humans, so he couldn't do anything for these years. You two are so pitiful. Now that I got you out of here, you two can be reunited. But that is not possible. If the witch finds out, he will catch us both again in no time. We must make him lose his power forever. So what do we do now? During my days here, I know he used to sit on the brick in the middle of the house and everything would go up to the ground and return to normal. So let's get out of here with the coffin. Thank you for saving us. Thanks to you, my brothers and I have lifted the witch's curse. I did nothing. Fortunately, your sister knows how to get us back, so everything was on the right track. Moreover, you saved me from the buffalo in the forest that night. It's you who saved me first. I'm just repaying you. You were so kind and very humble. I forgot to ask you something. What about that witch? He won't come back here to harm you two again. <laughs> Don't worry. After the curse is lifted, his cellar will also collapse and bury him forever. So lucky. He deserves it. Now you two can live happily from now on. You are my savior. If you don't mind, please stay here with my family and become my husband. Stay here and become your husband? You want to marry me? That's right, because you are the kindest person in the world that I have ever met. I want to be your wife. But... But I'm just a poor tailor who has nothing. You are not rich, but your kindness is the most valuable thing. No money can buy your kindness and altruism. So the tailor who wanders around has had a warm place to live and a nice ending. He lived happily ever after with the beautiful girl in the peaceful castle.